I will be buried here. To tell you exactly how I arrived at this bank and shoal of time, I have to go way back. Way, way back to a time that I can't hardly remember. 2019. By 2019, over 70% of all wildlife on the planet had disappeared, burned, flooded, or paved over. In 2019, the International Panel on Climate Change announced that we had only 11 years left to change everything. Climate emissions were through the roof and increasing. We were a mere decade away from a completely unlivable future. We were probably being burned out by fire or flooded out by megastorms. Everywhere was on fire. Not just us, too. Australia, Europe, even Malibu was on fire. And just when we all thought things couldn't possibly get any worse, this little bugger was born. And just as the decade turned in January of 2020, I got it. But oh, the virus had ripped through my brain. It mixed and matched synapses in ways that didn't seem to go together. I had brain fog. The next word struggling from thought to lips, stuck inside, stuttering. Headaches came from out of nowhere. Long COVID has left thousands with a laundry list of sometimes debilitating symptoms. Neurological attacks where I could not stop blinking. The blinking lights, the sirens, the incessant prefrontal strobe of doom scrolling made it all so much worse. So I went off to the woods to live deliberately, away from the Wi-Fi and the cell phone signal, away from the noise and the violence that made the fog in my brain worse. One room, no cell phone signal, and no one around. It's like nature told all of us, Keep your hands. All of humanity, go to your room and think about what you've done. What have we done? How can we heal now? <laughs>